Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and in this video I'm going to cover the best contact libraries in every category. And the purpose of this is that, let's say you just got contact, or maybe even complete, and you're tired of the built-in sounds that come with it, you're going to be looking for third-party libraries to expand. And I'm going to try to do it in a way that offers the most crossover between each category as possible. So the categories in question for this video that I came up with are bass, sound design, ambient, synth, orchestral, percussion, and piano. So of course this list is largely opinion based, these are just my favorite contact libraries in each category. Uh, so before I even get into the actual libraries, uh, leave a comment down below with your favorite in each category or just one of the categories, uh, one, because I'd like to know, maybe I'll pick up something new, and two, it might help someone else out that maybe doesn't have the same kind of music background that I do, so maybe none of my recommendations are fit for certain people watching this video. So to me the best base contact library is Substance by Output. And this is kind of a hybrid library that combines synthesizers, uh, actual bass guitars, and various like orchestral instruments into one kind of integrated um, with a ni very nice preset browser um, bass library. And it can also do synth stuff as well and kind of sound design and ambient stuff. So it's a very good crossover library to get if maybe you don't want to get one in each category. Uh, so the patch I loaded is actually my favorite, which is called Crushed. <laughs> one's from their expansion pack. I believe it's called Dystopian. Um, so if you're, if you're going to pick up Substance, I'd recommend getting the expansion packs, or actually even better, I'd recommend just getting their everything bundle, because it, you know, heavily discounts the individual products that you get. Um, it's very easy to use. If you want, you can do everything just from this main interface. You can control the pulse. <laughs> swap out these sounds. And just right there you can drastically change the actual sound of the patch. But if you want to you can dive in and go into these advanced categories where you can change like the ADSR, the, the filter, the pan and tuning of each individual sound that's in each patch. Um, so overall it's a very powerful bass library and for synth, sound design, ambient, everything like that. Which is why for me it's the best bass contact library to fit in the base category. So next in the sound design category we have Gravity by Heaviosity. This one is very interesting because the bulk of the library is actually in these kind of impacts. So it's very good for those explosive you know, elements or risers as well, but it does in addition come with you know, actual just kind of playable pads and stuff like that. So if I go into the uh, drop down here, uh, what I have loaded is the hits, which is kind of the meat of the library. But you can also go into pads and you'll see that there's a good amount of uh, these NKIs with individual kind of, you know, instruments. So it's a, it's a very, very detailed patch, but just to show you some sounds in the um, bulk of it, you get stuff like this. And obviously these have a very kind of, you know, not one-time use, but they have a very specific application. You can, there's, there's an incredible engine behind this where you can control, you know, the, the main kind of functionality for the effects. Uh, you can control the punish, which is this kind of knob here. You can go into these advanced settings for EQ filter. And then there's also different ways to combine the different sounds and change, like, the motion between the different sounds. Um, then, again, they have this integrated thing here. Um, for snapshots if you want to switch between different categories and you know again the pads and stuff make it a killer buy for any kind of sound design stuff but it has some crossover on ambient and also synth if you dive into these pads because they are they are very good also if you need any kind of just risers or hits this library is very good for that so next we have the ambient category and for me this was kind of a tough one and what i ended up deciding with was exhale by output so again if you're going to get any two products by output, I'd recommend just getting their everything bundle. Honestly, I if you're going to get any one, I just get that because it's so heavily discounted. But Exhale is a vocal kind of synth library, so they've got a bunch of vocal sound sources and turn them into just a whole bunch of different synth sounds, I guess. But it works very good for ambient stuff. It works very good for synth sounds, very good for sound design. So it's a good crossover library just like the other one so far. 
So this is one of my favorite sounds that comes in there. Just like substance, it has this kind of easy page where you can blend in like the rhythm. Change the pulse. Motion. And if you want, you can go to the engine and you have all the advanced parameters. Uh, so for example, if you want to actually go in and change like the ADSR, if you want to go in and just deal with the... Uh, pitch and kind of motion effects you can do that as well so it's, it's a very powerful thing for the most part honestly i just go in and i I'd load up a preset because the presets in general are so good there's also one shots and other kind of stuff as well as you can see there's these kind of categories down here you click airy and it breaks it down you click one shot and it breaks it down so there's, there's a lot of power in this library now as a second option to this category since i realize people might not just want a vocal library for ambient stuff uh, one of my favorites is Box of Tricks, uh, or Image and Heap Box of Trips, Tricks, sorry, which is by uh, Sonic Kucher, I believe is how you say their name. And it comes with, I don't know how many instruments this is, but each of them is, you know, kind of their own purpose. So, for example, in this library, I think the best ambient ones are the vocal pad, the cello, and the array mabira, I think that's how it's pronounced. But anyways, th that was my second uh, contender. And there is also another one that's more atmospheric, which is Haunted Spaces, um, so that one is worth checking out as well. Into the synth category, this one is eDNA Earth, which is a unique library because it's not based on a pure synthesizer. It's actually based off of orchestral sounds turned into synth sounds. So this is just one of the 1900 or 1900 patches that comes with it. <laughs> got a very powerful engine it allows you to do stuff like control the uh, two sound sources that get loaded blend between them there's a step sequencer this advanced effects page and you know again it is 1900 uh, patches with over a thousand sound sources so if I just load in uh, electric guitar synth then you'll hear this one And you get a completely different sound. Um, it's broken up into these categories like Atmos, bass, drums. So this is a very big crossover library, just like the other ones. Um, it's got a lot of killer synth sounds as well. You know, it does have this pretty small synth category, but honestly, almost everything in this library is a synth sound. Um, just because it's basically advertised as an orchestral synthesizer library. So it's very powerful, and I recommend that you check it out. As a second contender to this, um, I made a video on this library recently by Squaresaw Sound. They have the, their two different uh, synth libraries that came out last month or, you know, November. Uh, so I guess this month. But those are based off of these very, very rare synthesizers, and those sounds are absolutely killer. So check out the videos on that. I'm going to link to those in the description so you can check those out. Moving on to the orchestral libraries. So I picked Albion 1. Now, I do have a bunch of orchestral libraries just scrolling through my list, um, you know, kind of orchestral, 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 <laughs> orchestral, uh, orchestral, orchestral, so, you know, it just it goes on. I have a ton of orchestral libraries. Uh, Albion 1 is the one that I think is the kind of best one to get if you need just one uh, orchestral library, so I guess pun intended in that case. If I load it up in here and go into one. It's broken down in a very nice way. You have the one orchestra, which right now I have strings loaded, but it's also broken up into brass high, brass low, brass mid, strings, wood high, wood low. And one of the best parts of this library is that it also comes with a full, you know, several categories of percussion. So it also covers percussion in terms of orchestral music. Then the steam band, which kind of covers 
It's kind of like eDNA Earth, where they morphed the sounds into something new and made new instruments with them. And then there's also the legacy version of Albion 1. So very big library, very good price, covers a lot of different avenues. And I think if you need one orchestral library, Albion 1 really is the orchestral library to get. And that's just kind of scratching the surface barely on what this library can do. So moving on to percussion, I picked Heaviosity's Damage. This is a loop-based contact library, whereas if you hit one key, it's going to actually play a loop with some percussion sounds. Now, if I go into here and load it up, um, the kind of main loop categories are broken up very nicely. But you can actually go into single loops where it'll break the loop up across the keys. You can actually go into percussive kits, and it'll have actual kind of kits you can play so if you don't like the loops you can use the raw sound sources to make your own patterns but the main kind of loop library for industrial sounds another cool thing about it is if I hit one of these purple keys to map the different effects. So while you're kind of writing over a song, you can be playing different loops, trying it out, but also playing these effects. And then, you know, this instrument's best programmed uh, because you need kind of dead-on accuracy, um, or you can just play it and then uh, quantize it. But it's very powerful in terms of, you know, any kind of movie stuff or TV stuff or just kind of epic industrial stuff this library is very good for. It has integrated distortion effects, lo-fi effects, reverb, delay, compression, amp, uh, amp, amp envelopes. Uh, it's got these effects so you can actually, you know, play with the effects that are mapped down here. And then more, you know, EQ and filter settings as well. And if you're not feeling the kind of industrial nature that is damage, um, Albion 1 does come with a very good percussion stuff for orchestral sounds. Action Strikes is another good one for percussion sounds. And um, Electroacoustic by Sonicuture is also a very good thing for like electronic and hybrid acoustic sounds moving on to the last category I actually have two instruments that i couldn't pick between because one is more realistic and one's more synthy i guess but they're both pianos so this one is actually the oliver arnold's uh felt piano which comes in the oliver arnold's composer toolkit um, very cool library it's not a contact player library so you do need the full version of contact to load it but as you can imagine, it is a felt piano. So it sounds very good. It is a felt piano, and basically a felt piano is when you, you know, between the hammer and the strings on the piano, you place one or two sheets of felt to kind of deaden the sound. And that's why when you hit a key, it sounds kind of muffled, but that's done on purpose. So it's a very nice, very inspiring sound source to play with. And it is also a real piano, which is why I picked it. Now, as the second piano I picked, it's called the Plastic Ghost Piano by Sound Dust, but you can also get it on Spitfire's site under their Sound Dust bundle number one. And Plastic Ghost Piano, it is based off of a real piano, but they kind of turned each sample into a convolution reverb and then burst noise through it to create each 
uh, ghostly sample, if you will. So I have one of the patches loaded. Um, it, it is another contact full library, so you do need the full version of contact to load it. But honestly, it's, it's, it's one of the best piano libraries I have. Basically, it has several different sound sources. So if I turn down these samples and I just go to the um, pianette, turn down the plastic piano. And you get more of a natural piano sound. Turn up the plastic piano and turn down the pianette. You get another very different sound. Go to the pale ghost. And then the dark ghost. Then, of course, you can blend them into your heart's desire, and the result is kind of percussion notes that you can mix in as well. Very, very good sound. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, click on the link in the description where you can head over to my blog where I break down each of these instruments in a little bit more detail, and I also list more kind of alternatives for each of these categories. Um, of course, this is all largely opinion-based, and it's suited to my music style, so feel free to chime in, leave any you know uh, disagreements you have in the comments, or feel free to let me know what you like about each of these libraries. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.